This is module two, lesson two. Today's objective was to relate skip counting by fives on the clock and telling time to a continuous measurement model, the number line. Follow the directions to label the number line below. Letter A. The basketball team practices between four o'clock p.m. and five o'clock p.m. Label the first and the last tick marks as 4 o'clock p.m. and 5 o'clock p.m. So I'm simply going to label the first tick mark as 4 o'clock p.m. and the last tick mark as 5 o'clock p.m. Letter A is now done. Letter B. Each interval represents five minutes. Count by fives, starting at 0 or 4 o'clock p.m. Label each 5-minute interval below the number line up to 5 o'clock p.m. So I have 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. Letter B is done. The team warms up at 4.05 p.m. <clears throat> Plot a point on the number line to represent this time. Above the point, write W. 4 o'clock p.m. is where our number line starts. 4.05 would be the next five minutes, so I'm going to point a plot there and label it as W. Letter D. The team shoots free throws at 4.15 p.m. Plot a point on the number line to represent this time. Above the point, write F. So at 4.15, that would be skip counting over. 4 o'clock, 4.05, 4.10, 415, that's when we take free throws. The team plays practice game at 425 p.m. Plot a point on the number line to represent this time. Above the point, write G. So again at 425, 4 o'clock, 405, 410, 415, 420, and here is 425 when they have a practice game. Try letter F and G on your own.